Hi, I'm Greg Lazarczyk with Lazar Scientific, and welcome to another edition of Flashpoint Fridays. In this video, we're going to discuss the setup and overview of the CETA Flash Series 3 Active Cool. But before we do that, let's take a look at what you should do. Before taking your instrument out of the box, check the box to see if there's any sign of damage, holes. If there is, take pictures, notify us, notify your shipping department so we can get a claim in. But hopefully there's none, so once we take the instrument out of the box, this is what you should have. You should have your Series 3 instrument. It should come with a power cord. For the gas instruments, it should come with a butane reservoir, but we, most people in the United States do not use this because we also usually supply a propane regulator that has a flow restrictor and an adjuster and an on and off switch that gives you much more precise control of your flight. Also in that, the box will be a two millimeter glass syringe that will be used for most of your samples that uh, have a flashpoint under 100 degrees C. Also what you'll have in there is your gas tubing to be used with your gas lid. If it's electronic ignition, this won't be in it and you'll have an electronic igniter instead of this gas uh, lid. In the bag you will also have a certificate of, certificate of ca calibration. Uh, a lot of models have a quick start guide in there and also a USB with the user manual. And like I said, the user manual is on USB stick, printed out, but please read that before you start operating the instrument. Okay, so once we have all that there and you've stored all your documentation and you're ready to do uh, and use your instrument, uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to install the instrument on a level surface that can support the weight of the instrument and any accessories. We want to make sure that when you set this up, you don't have a bunch of flammable materials next to it. If you're up against a wall and there's a window there, make sure there's no curtains or blinds. I know that shouldn't be, but we have gone into some labs and you'll see that. So keep anything that's flammable away from this instrument. The only other thing that you really have to worry about is there's a ventilation port in the back that helps cool the CPU and there's a ventilation port on the bottom. We want to keep that clear so we can actually get good cooling to the cup and cool down, but also have your instrument run cooler over the years. So keep those unobstructed. So uh, that's the really thing that you only have to, that's the only thing you really have to worry about. So the initial setup. Let's turn it around. Normally when this ships, you're going to have the thermal probe, temperature probe for your flash detector installed, but it'll be hanging loosely here. It can only plug in one way. And once you plug that in, you just screw it down so it won't come out. Now starting at the bottom, what you have is your power cord. This is a universal power supply in here, so it can run off 220 uh, or 110, but we supply a 110 uh, power because most people will be running that in the US. Uh, the power switch is right above that, on and off. Between the power switch and the power cord is your fuse holder, so if you ever blow a fuse, that's the first place you're gonna look. Um, now for electronic ignition uh, models, it's, it'll have another connector right here and your igniter will plug in here and it'll come up and it'll be mounted on a slightly different lid that's designed for electronic ignition. Uh, here is your butane holder, uh, but normally we don't use that. We use the propane hold, the tank that sits right here with the regulator on top of that, and we just hook the gas tubing line right into that. So once we connect the power and connect the gas tubing and light it up, you're ready to go. So we're gonna turn on the instrument, which it's already on, and we'll kind of give you an overview of, of the instrument. But one of the things we wanna make sure before you start to use the instrument is make sure that you're following all the federal, state, local, and company regulations and guidelines regarding hazardous materi materials 
and dangerous materials to provide a safe workplace, safe working conditions, which means wear your PPE. Usually FRC, safety glasses, and gloves are a minimum. Now once you have that on and you're ready to do a test, it's very easy with this instrument. So we're gonna give you an overview of the instrument. It is a touchscreen interface that you can use the touch screen and the control knob to do any type of function here. So this instrument has two test methods. It has a no-no-go test or a flash no flash called the equilibrium and a ramp method. So the equilibrium method, if you wanna run that, you'll press that icon right here uh, and that will run ASTM test D3828. And when you press that, there's actually information bar on the bottom of the screen that will tell you you're in equilibrium mode. If you go to the ramp mode, which is ASTM 7236, it will show you in ramp mode and you're ready to start to test. Now, to do anything else on this screen, to change the temperature, to start a test, to look at results, or to go into the settings menu, you can either use your finger and touch things, like the temperature, and then rotate the knob to change it to 38 degrees, and you press it to accept that, and then it'll start to heat up. Or you can actually use the control knob, and as you change that control knob and move it, the icons below will be highlighted, and you'll know it's time to change that. But So between the touch screen and the control knob, basically anybody can be running this within 5, 10, 15 minutes of putting this on the, uh, on the surface. Um, very easy to use. The information across the bottom that shows you the ramp mode and the uh, equilibrium mode also will tell you when it's time to test when you're ready. Uh, so very a lot of information on that screen. The only other thing we really have on this side, the control side, is the hot icon. So when you get above 60 degrees C, this light is going to come on letting you know that on the operating side, the cup side, that surface is hot. Be careful, you could burn yourself. In the middle on the front, we have a USB port. So after you're done the test method or a uh, test and you have a number of results or signal results, you can transfer them to the USB port and to a USB stick and take that and put it on your computer. When you come over to the cup side here, the testing side, you have your lid. Now on your lid, you have your test flame nozzle, your pilot flame, your gas inlet here where again that is the gas tubing is hooked up to your gas supply. We run a four millimeter flame size on the top of the lid there's actually an icon that's etched in that shows you what your size of the flame should look like. Now if this was an electronic ignition model this whole cover would be a little bit different. You'd still have your handle locking pin you still have your shutter arm that goes down, but instead of having the gas flame, it would have your electronic ignition going down. Both of them always would have your temperature probe, your flash detector, that sits right here, very low mass, so we see the increase in temperature. Uh, you have your sample cup, that's either aluminum or a stainless insert, depending on what model. You have an O-ring that seals against there. Uh, and again, very easy to shut, close, and then right on top is your sample inlet port. You would actually just fill your syringe up and inject. So once you set your temperature, it's at temperature, you would draw your sample, inject it, press the button, and you're running. So that's it for the initial setup and overview of the Cita Flash Series 3 Active Cool. And again, I can't stress it enough. Remember to be safe. Read the manual. Read the quick start guide. Follow all your federal, state, local company regulations regard to safety regulations, hazardous good, dangerous materials. Make sure you're wearing the proper PPE. Uh, make sure you get home at night to your families. Also, a wealth of information is the ASTM methods. So before you start running the test, go back, read your ASTM methods that give you an idea of how you should prep your sample, what you should look for, uh, and just a wealth of information.
So please watch for more videos on our Cedar Flash Series 3 Active Cool in our Flashpoint Friday series. Be safe. Take care. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. All right.